Apple has released iOS 17 to the public and I already have a video on some of the best features in iOS 17 but in this video we're going to be taking a look at 10 plus hidden features in iOS 17. Jumping right into the video, the first feature is called Listen to Page. If you go into your Safari and you have an article open, you can go ahead and click on the little AA, the font icon in the web browser, and there's going to be a new option saying Listen to Page. Once you click on Listen to Page, it's going to automatically read out that text out loud and you can actually close the application and listen to it in the background as well so if there's an article out there that you just don't have the time to read and you rather listen to it now you have that option to do so in safari 3d touch was one of my favorite features in the iphone success we no longer have a pressure sensitive display but we can still use the haptic touch on applications if you go into your settings and go into accessibility and go into the touch settings and then go into haptic touch you can customize the touch duration of the haptic touch by default it's going to be on default which is kind of slow um, it doesn't give that full feel but if you turn this on to fast it's going to make it look a lot better and feel a lot better like the actual 3d touch that we had in the iphone success you can definitely play around with the settings in the haptic touch settings to see which one feels the best but in my personal opinion i think the fast settings is probably the best option to go with on ios 17 in the weather application you're going to get a new wind setting option or a new weather form option so if you go into the precipitation map you can customize the different layers and you can see different options like precipitation temperature air quality and now you're gonna have a new option called wind and once it loads up it just looks really nice and satisfying to look at the wind speeds and it has this nice little animation that it shows it looks really cool in my opinion if you guys didn't know about this it is a really cool option in the weather application also in the weather application if you scroll down to the moon section you can finally get a moon calendar built into the weather application once you tap on that you can get more details about the moon like illumination moonset moonrise next full moon and you can also see an entire calendar of what the moon is going to be like for that month and you can also go through this little dial and see the different crescents of the moon just from your weather application it looks really nice one of the hidden features in the weather application ios 17 is bringing a new quick access feature in the imessage applications to quickly send photos the previous method is going to be just clicking on the plus button and then going to your photos and then sending an image like that but you can also just tap and hold on to the plus icon and it's going to quickly give you the option to see your recent gallery and send pictures right away so you now have a quicker option of accessing your photos right within the messages application in a single tap and hold i'd like to take a moment to thank the sponsor of this video itool lab apple just announced the latest iphone and if you're looking for a way to transfer your whatsapp itool lab has got you covered with its all new whatsapp transfer tool what's go it's the best all-in-one transfer tool for your whatsapp data with what's go you can transfer your whatsapp data easily from android to iphone android to android iphone to android as well as iphone to iphone your contacts messages call history images videos stickers and more are easily transferred to your next phone there's no need to factory reset your iphone what's go is capable of transferring large files without long waits or getting stuck what's go is available on both pc and mac and all you have to do is connect your two phones and click transfer and you're good to go it's as easy as that the best part is itool lab has a big sale right now and you can get up to 40 percent off check out the links in the description below for links and coupon codes and now let's get back to the video next we have shazam now shazam has been available on ios for a while now but now in ios 17 when you're doing shazam it actually goes into the dynamic island and it gives you this nice animation when it detects the song and it gives you this nice little pop-up of what that song is playing it just makes Shazam look a little bit better and a lot cleaner in my opinion and the animation is a nice added touch. This next feature is probably one of the best new features in the photos application. If you go into the photos application and you have a picture of your car dash and you're wondering what those lights mean, now in visual lookup you can actually find out those auto symbols right within the photos application. It's going to give you a new option to look up auto symbols and it's automatically going to give you what those each individual signs mean. This also works for laundry icons so if you have a tag on your clothing and you're wondering what those signs mean, you can pull up visual lookup and see what those icons mean for laundry care and it's going to show it to you all right within the photos application. This also works with plants, recipes, cats, uh, dog types and stuff like that so it is a nice little change for visual lookup in the photos application 
on iOS 17. Now this next one seems like it's just exclusive to the iPhone 15 series even though Apple should have included this for the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max as well. It seems like it only works on the iPhone 15 series so whenever you have the flash turned on it's going to show you directly in the dynamic island that the flashlight is on. So whenever you feel like the flashlight is on or you don't know the flashlight is on you can tell by looking at the dynamic island that the flashlight is indeed on and you can go ahead and turn it off from the dynamic island as well. iOS 17 is also bringing some new ringtone updates to the ringtone so you can get new ringtone options in iOS 17. A lot of them sound really nice and they're really cool ringtones that you can choose between. If you didn't know about this you can go ahead and go into your settings, sound and haptics and check to see what kind of ringtone you want to go with. There's definitely a lot of nice ones in here so let me know in the comment section below what you decide to use. This next one should have been available in previous iOS updates but nonetheless Apple's bringing it in iOS 17. If you go into the clock application and you go into timers you can finally set up multiple timers at once instead of having to just do one timer at a time. It works really well, it looks really clean, it still works with dynamic island and if you're looking for multiple timer options you finally have that in iOS 17. And finally, for the people that use the magnifier in the notes application or anywhere in the iOS system, you now have a new magnifier that's a little bit bigger and has this little oval shape to it instead of just being a circle. It looks really clean and if you're into the magnifier, that's something that's been updated in iOS 17. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys did like this video and you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.